cost to business. Vera. Benny mentioned that he might have another job for me. I should go check him out. Or go check it out. So, Benny. That's dirty. Uh, I'm looking for some work. Alright, uh, what can you tell me about Vera? She's all right. Got her up for an easy gig up at the Middle Mountain Pit Stop as a favor to Delaney. I'm hearing she has her head in the clouds lately, making all sorts of silly mistakes. I need someone to go snap her out. Any idea what what's affecting her work ethic? No clue. She's doing a good enough job. But after a while, she just kept making dumb mistakes. Like she's getting distracted by something. You want me to rattle her cage a little? Make her see some sense? Well, I appreciate the initiative. <laughs> Joanna would have my eyes. Just so foolish making a mind wander on the Mel Pit stop. Alright, sure, I'll talk to Vera. Sure. Just get her to focus on her work and the cast that you're working on. Now vamoose. Spoke to Vinny, and he wants me to check in on Vera Thornburg, their rookie. It sounds like Vera hasn't been doing her job right and being distracted from her work. Check on Vera Thornburg. So of course. The Middle Mountain cabins were changed into the Middle Mountain pit stop. We had to head up there to talk to Vera. So Vera will be inside the general store. Okay. Hey there, how can I help? Um, Vinny sent me to help you focus on your work. Uh, what's so important about getting these photos? Well, I was planning on visiting the pit stop to my daddy's old truck route from before the bombs dropped. I know seeing those old places would just warm his heart. Especially since he hasn't had a mind to travel since Mama died. But I can't just abandon my post after Joanna went to all the trouble getting it for me. Plus, I'm not sure if I'd last one minute out there alone. All right. Uh, do I look like a tourist? Just do your job right. Sorry. I'm trying my best, but I just can't seem to focus with this on my mind. All right, sure. I'll get those photos for you. Oh, you're sweeter than a Nuka-Cola. I'll mark the locations on your map. A nice picture of a sign or maybe a landmark would be great. Thanks again. Good to see you again. 
Vera is depressed because she has not been traveling like she said she would uh, to her father and feels she can't reply to his letter till she has proof of her travels. She wants me to take photos of some pit stops so she can send them back to him. Take pit stop photos for Vera. So there's the mountainside bed and breakfast. There is the Cowspot's Creamery. I guess it could be the bridge. I'm going to guess it's the Cowspot's Creamery. And the Tyler County Fairgrounds. Okay. I don't know if they change player to player, um, so I'm just going to assume that they don't. And move forward. So first one is the mountainside bed and breakfast. Uh, if you don't have the camera, I have to do a video still on how to get the camera. But there's lots of ways to get it now. And not just the random encounter method. Uh, photograph mountainside bed and breakfast sign. Done. Bodies underneath. Oh, the overseer's blood spatter is still here. Huh. Okay. Next is the cow spot creamery, or is it the bridge? I guess we'll find out when we get there. It's a blue devil random encounter. Yep, photograph the cow spot creamery sign. Oh, this one. And we don't even have to fight the ghouls. And finally, the Tyler County Fairgrounds. Oh, that's not one of my photos. That's the toxic waste bed. I think the sign, yeah, it's right there. No? Wonder what I'm photographing. Oh, the Ferris wheel. That's too close. Um, let's wait till we reach recharge. Got it. Too far to see what the random encounter is. Given that it is currently alien time, it's probably an alien random encounter, so I'm not going to waste the time on it. Uh, looks like they're coming back soon. Sky's filling up. Let's go ahead and head on back down to Vera. Cash this in. Oh, but I didn't kill the Scorch that are here, so we gotta wait. I got all the photo, the pit stop photos Vera wanted to send back to her father. I should head back and give them to her. But again, it would have been great if each of these little quests ended with a scripted fight. Okay. All right, Vera. Oh, hey. You got the pictures yet? We're not going to waste the time on saying that cuz you'll just tell the same thing. I have the photos right here. Bless my stars. You actually did it. Daddy's going to be so happy. Oh, these look swell. Not exactly how I imagined them. A bit more run down, but that's to be expected, I suppose. Uh, looking at these now, it dawns on me that I probably shouldn't be sending these back if I didn't take them. Uh, 
You sure? You'd probably love to see his old pit stops. You're right, but I don't know what I should tell him. I mean, he's cheating, ain't he? I never went there. Oh, so I don't have an option to tell her just to go on, just to go. She can travel there. Um, all right, don't send the pictures, but what do you plan to do with them? I don't know. Maybe I should just get rid of them. So, yeah, so I can tell her to go out and do it herself. Uh, keep them as a memento might help you find the pit stops one day or get rid of them but get out there and take them yourself now we'll say the top one yeah, it would brighten up the shop and maybe one day I'll go there using them as a reference I guess I can write that thank you for all your hard work please let Vinny know I'll be more focused now that's off my mind here take this as a token of my appreciation ten caps Thanks. There's a naked guy outside. Um, let's head back to Vinny. Cash this in and then it's done. Sorry, no time to talk. Hey Vinny. The lighter away and talk to me. It's about time you got back. You better be here and she's become so laser focused we can weaponize the heat. Well, Vera wanted to send some photos to her father. I got them for her. Right. I remember her saying something like that. She must have felt cooped up. Huh. Well, I appreciate you getting her mind right. Okay, good job. I got a feeling I'll have more work for you tomorrow, so be sure to stop by. So, I mean, again, he was nice to everyone except for the first guy, Kieran. Kiernan. Everyone else, he was like, oh, well, they are family. Family's important. But with Kiernan, he's like, I told him not to take care of them kids. Uh, makes no sense. Yeah, that's it. Now we have Vera's uh, Vera's outfit. <laughs>